What's up guys, this is iTweets here with iPhoneHacks.com and today I'm going to be showing you how to create your own boot logo using any GIF. Now this is a very simple process but there are going to be some steps that you're going to have to take in order to get that GIF as your boot logo on your device. There's also going to be some prerequisites so let's go ahead and get those out of the way. So the first thing you want to do is add a new repo to Cydia. That repo is going to be on the screen right here and it's going to be called TheirRepo.com. So once you add that repo, download a tweak from that repo called Animate. Now Animate is a tweak that's available in the Big Boss repo. You don't want to download that one. So make sure that you're downloading Animate from their repo.com. This is going to allow 64-bit devices to use a new boot logo. Now the next thing that you want to download on your device is called Apple Conduit 2. Now this is basically going to allow you to access all the files on your phone once it's connected to your PC kind of like iFile. Now the next thing you want to do is download iFunbox for your computer. Now this is going to be what's going to allow you to access all those files on your device. And last but not least we want to download BootGIF which is the new software that's going to allow us to do all this cool stuff. So I'm going to be putting a link in the description below for everything that you need to download as well as the steps uh, just because if you get a little lost because I know that's a lot to download and install then just make sure that you check the description and uh, it'll all be laid out right there for you. Now once you have all that downloaded and installed I went ahead and already found a GIF that I'm going to be using for my uh, boot logo. You just go on Google search for a GIF that you want to use and I also have bootgif.jar right there saved on my desktop so it's for easy access so you can see all we need to do is open up boot gif and then once that opens up you can kinda see how this is going to work you have your device type so just select the device that you have which I'm using a 5s for this particular one so you can see the screen lengthened right there and then you have your image options now before you actually mess with this you wanna select your gif now I've saved my gif to my desktop so I'm just gonna click on select gif I'm gonna select desktop we're gonna go ahead and open that up and we're gonna use giphy.gif so we're gonna open that up and you can see kinda that horizon right here so you can't really see what it's going to do when it animates but I'll show you that in just a second now right below select gif is your background color so you're gonna wanna try to find a gif that has uh, a, either a black or a white background whatever matches your device just because it's gonna look kinda funny if it has a different background so mine's already black so we don't really need to mess with that you can change up the color right here if you want to but I'm gonna leave mine black because it kinda looks uniform and I think it fits a little bit better now right up here we have fade options so I would recommend enabling fade just because it looks a little bit better right at the beginning it doesn't actually fade out uh, but it does fade in from that Apple logo to the GIF uh, but I think it looks a little bit better and I usually use 10 frames so we're just gonna move this up to 10 frames and then X out of that and the next thing you want to do is select your output so we're just gonna put this on the desktop here we're just gonna choose that and then again we've chosen what device we want or what we're using and then right here we have our image options so if it doesn't look right then you can mess with these you can make it fit to the width so you can see that it actually got a little bit bigger you can fit to the height you can see that it got much bigger or you can fit both which usually skews it quite a bit or you can change it up right down here so I'm just gonna use fit to width just because I think this uh, actually looks the best now you can limit the frames as well so this is basically going to uh, limit how many frames the gif goes through so it's not necessarily going if it's a hundred frames it's not gonna cut off the last 75 frames if you have it set to 25 what it's gonna do is take out frames from the middle so it's still going to be uh, the full animation is just going to be a little bit choppier just depending on how many frames are actually in the GIF. Now I'm not going to actually uh, select that. I'm going to let it do the full frames just to get the smoothest animation. And then right below that you can loop the GIF. So we're just going to move this up. We're going to do six. Now once you have that all selected, all you want to do is click make boot logo. Then you'll get a little pop up right here that's basically telling you that it's writing frame whatever frame it's writing and then once it finishes up then you can see this little close button will light up and we can close out of this alright so now that it's done so we're gonna click close 
and it actually saved to right here. So you can see BL underscore 93218. Now you can change this up if you want to. This is like a random name that it's going to allocate to each one of these. But if we just click again, we can change this to Earth because this is actually a GIF of a rotating uh, shadow on Earth or eclipse or whatever you want to call it. So now all we need to do is go ahead and open up iFunbox. So we'll open that up right here. And then what you want to do is click on raw file system. Now, if you didn't install Apple Conduit 2, then you're going to have issues right here. You're not going to be able to access the device right here, and you're not going to be able to access any of this. So just make sure that you've downloaded Apple Conduit 2, and this is going to allow you to go from device, and then we're going to go into library, and then we're going to go into boot logos. Now, this is where you're going to drop your new boot logo. So we can just drop that in right here. And then once that's loaded up, and once that's loaded up on the device, we'll jump over to my iPhone and we'll go into settings. And then we're gonna scroll down here to boot logo. So here it is right here. And then you should see the new boot logo right here. So if we tap on earth and you can actually tap preview right here, it looks a little choppy in the preview, but it doesn't look like that when you actually do the boot logo. So we're gonna go back and we're gonna turn off our device and then once we turn this off and boot it back up, then that's when we're going to see that nice boot logo. Now on the 64-bit devices, the boot animation actually goes through pretty quick. And I'm not sure if there's a fix for that, but I mean, you're going to notice that the animation goes through pretty fast. But on older devices, I don't think this is going to be an issue. All right, so we're now completely turned off. We're going to turn it on and you can see what this boot logo looks like. And you're going to see that it's going to loop six times. And that's how you make your own boot logo. So it does take a little preparation, but it's not a very difficult process. So let me know what you guys think about this in the comments below. And if you guys find an awesome GIF, then make sure to share it in the comments so everybody else can check it out as well. All right, guys, if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. And if you want to see more of my videos, then don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. All right, guys, until next time, this is iTweaks with iPhoneHacks.com.